Afternoon driver, board passengers here at Cambridge before heading down to Ely. Your book departure here from is 16.03. Okay, welcome to the channel everybody. My name's Inside A Gamer and today we are looking at the very new product from AP. I mean, it's the AP317. So what we're going to do, we're going to set up and uh, then we're going to talk about it as we get going. Um, it's a cool little unit so far. I'm quite enjoying it. Okay, so let's open up the doors. And uh, for some reason, the doors aren't opening. Why are the doors not opening? Uh, T and O. Who knows? Okay, let's set up in here. Maybe we need to do something in here. <laughs> it's a good start. Good start. Okay. Master key on. Reverse it to neutral. Reset AWS. DRA off. Go back to the outside here now. And what we will do, we will find Ely. Very short run here. Aha, Ely. Perfect. We can get rid of them. We can activate our main light here now as well. Interesting. It says here, open the doors by pressing TU for left hand, TO for right hand. So TU. Yeah, not too sure why the doors aren't opening. Have I done something wrong maybe? Pretty sure. Door switch key. Yeah, I, I, I still don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> Okay, our GSMR today is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. We are the 1T40. And this is 161. Okay, next stop is Cambridge North, 1608. Okay, that is set up. Didn't know, I'm not too sure why the doors didn't open, but we can respond to the guard. Okay, so reverse it into forward, guys. We need to put our brakes to step one, train into two, and release the brakes. There we go. We should have liftoff, which is something. <laughs> Nice. 35 miles an hour as we exit here of Cambridge North. Sorry, Cambridge. We're heading to Cambridge North. What's wrong with me? There we go, guys. We'll have a little bit more of a look. Uh, so this is available on Armstrong Powerhouse. Apparently we're speeding. Don't know how. Um, for 20 euros, 1999. Uh, comes with quite a few bits and pieces. Uh, it comes with 16 different liveries. We've got earlier modern cab variants, passenger views with correct seat, detailed internal external audios, accurate acceleration and braking physics, player changeable destinations, cab secure, GSMR, drive operations, and wheel slip protection. Okay, they also have six engaging scenarios for the DTG ECML London to Peterborough uh, and DTG Midland Mainline London to Bedford based on actual timetables and train formations, which is pretty cool. So let's have a little look at the train itself. Gonna just pick up a little bit of speed here. Uh, I, I do love the AP products. I love all the kind of you know all the markings, all the you know how they're all worn out and stuff. Very realistic. I like that. All the textures. Have a look inside the cab. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's looking pretty nice. I haven't been in a 317 myself. Um, looking pretty good. Quite happy with that. Horn sounding pretty good. And obviously we're in the great northern livery here. Now this is a scenario by Adam Hay. Um, it is up on my Discord if any of you guys would like to play this. Um, I'm not sure did he put this one up on the Alan Thompson website. He may have done as well. Uh, he is another fantastic train YouTuber. Definitely worth checking out his channel. The link will be in that description down below as well. Okay, there's a 170 coming towards us here. It was me the other day on my live stream. <laughs> and we're coming into Cambridge North. What else works up here? Okay, cool. I kind of like the windows down. Now, I'll be honest with you, I like it in the southern livery. I can't wait to uh, be able to check that out. And the southeast livery, sorry. Okay, we're going to see what these brakes are like. Oh, wow. Pretty good. Okay, we are heading into Cambridge North. Oh, the brakes are very good. Okay, doors have opened. Welcome to Cranebridge North. And yeah. Pretty good. Okay, next stop is Eli at uh, 1623. That'd be the last stop of this, uh, this little circuit that we are doing. Okay, into notch two, release. Nice. Okay, so the manufacturer is British Rail Engineering Limited in York. Uh, years it was built between was 1981 and 1982. There were 48 of these trains built. The traction modes are four times GEC G315BZ. Maximum speed is 100 miles an hour, which we might find out in a minute. Coupling type is a tight lock. Uh, the length is 19.83 meters per car. Height is a 3.7. Okay, and weight is 137 tons. Wow. Electric motors, they can hear them. Okay, what kind of liveries does it come with then? So it comes with a BR Blue Grey. Pretty nice. Uh, Network Southeast, which I can't wait to use. Uh, Network Southeast Revised. We've got a uh, LTS train. Uh, WAGN Revised as well. Uh, so first Capital Connect with logo. Nice. Uh, we've got the Great Northern, which we are using today. We have the One. The X1, X1 National Express East Angular, uh, the Stansted Express, oh that'd be pretty cool. Stansted Express, National Express East Angular STX, okay, it's another variant. 
National Express East Anglia 1. We have the National Express East Anglia 2. Okay, we're just going over a couple of these things here. Okay, just going to bring our train down to that. Uh, what I will do, actually, I'm going to bring this over for you guys. You guys can't see because I don't have it on screen capture. Uh, we've got the London Overground. Oh, the London Overground. Hopefully we get Adam to maybe make some North Goblin stuff. I'm going to request that uh, next. Yeah, the North London Overground. Yeah, that looks really good. Quite a few different variants of the passenger insides. Uh, the pantographs built with stone favorite AMBR pantographs built in the 2000s. Okay. So as we head down this Cambridge uh, Peterborough line, it's actually becoming one of my favorite routes at the moment as well. I'm using this quite a lot, I'm finding. I don't know what you guys are, are finding about it, but I'm really enjoying it. past us there. We're only a very small two car. Very short run for us today. Uh, so it does come with some scenarios. We've got the AP317. Okay, hang on. We're just speeding. Let me just take out the speed. You guys can have a nice little cab ride. Uh, so 1P51861 P, uh, P Peterborough to King's Cross, route EMCL London to Peterborough, track covered Peterborough to King's Cross, traction first, uh, capital connect, year 2014, one hour and 20 minutes. Okay, so these are all quite long scenarios. There is another one then from AP317, the 935 and King's Cross to Huntington on the ECML London, Peterborough track cover King's Cross to Huntington. 1 hour 15 year 1993 I definitely need to check that one out I uh, might have to stream that one uh, Cambridge to King's Cross EMCL London to Peterborough again uh, we have another one 2028 to Luton to Moorgate 45 minutes uh, London St Pancras to Bedford Ooh, that's quite cool uh, we have another one then another one Bedford to Moorgate route MML again that's in the BR blue grey And uh, the other one we have here is Moorgate to Bedford again on the MML. So it looks like they're all on the MML. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I'm definitely going to have to try and see if I can get Adam to make something on the North Goblin line with the London Overground maybe. Or maybe even on the new um, WCML. We'll have a look. See what he can come up with. A bit of speed into her now. Let's see what she's got. But the texture wise it's great. I am really, really like what I see. Um, a lot of these things move. Okay. Open and close the cab doors. Cab heating. There's some heating on here. Look. Oh yeah. Nice. Really nice, guys. Okay, so look, she can do 100 miles an hour. We're storming down here now. Definitely need to keep an eye on lights. Didn't think about them, did I? But I definitely think for a while, uh, we're definitely going to be trying this out a bit more. I'm going to try out some of the scenarios that have already been created by AP as well. And uh, like I said, we will get on to Adam and hopefully he'll get something for the Discord. And as always, if any of you want to play any of the scenarios that are made on the channel, uh, come join the Discord. Link in the description down below. You'll find them in the right area. You'll find them there free. Uh, we, I post them once they're created. They come in batches of five from Adam. Once they're created, I... I generally post them once I've done a video or two on them. Uh, but you are free to try any of them and play any of them. Uh, just make sure you do check out his channel as well. Uh, come chat to us on the Discord. If there are any routes or anything that you want covered, let us know as well. Okay, we're five miles from Edie. Yeah, speeding. 
Wow, she does pick up speed quick. This, and she breaks just as fast. There we go. As we're cruising down, we do need to slow ourselves down again in a minute. I feel like this train can break on the spot. Okay, three miles to go to Ely. Try and get a nice screenshot, maybe. There you go. Got a nice thumbnail. A couple of shots for Discord. Okay, so we are coming in now very, very soon. Think about taking out some of the speed. Welcome to Ely.
Okay, doors open, and there we go. That is the final stop of this little scenario. Uh, just checking out the 317 for its first little look, uh, and I'm quite impressed with it. I, I like it. I like the older style trains myself when it comes to the the, um, the electrical units. These are the ones that I remember from being as a kid. There we go. Eli's looking pretty good too. This is Eli, where is the service terminus? What do you think of the AP class 317? So there we go, guys. What do you guys think of the 317? Maybe let me know in those comments down below. Are you guys enjoying it? Have many of you downloaded it? Do some of you think maybe it's overpriced, etc.? You know, let me know in those comments down below. It's always good to see what you guys think. Um, but yeah, I, I quite enjoyed it myself. If you're enjoying this content, please do subscribe down below to the channel. Hit the bell icon for notifications. I upload nearly every single day. And other than that, myself, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.